Good morning guys and welcome to Mombasa city which I'd also call the land of tuk-tuks because honestly this place is packed with tuk-tuks. We're here courtesy of a company called Almasi Travel Adventures and they're going to be showing us around today. They're going to be picking us up in about the next 30 minutes. So before that we're just heading off to look for some breakfast before we get started off in the day. So I found this place called the Sega Cafe and they serve Swahili dishes. I have to say, Mombasa has been so hot right now. Uh, last night it was actually quite difficult to sleep because uh, we had a fan in the house and uh, the fan was not as effective as I needed. So I was itching the whole night because my skin is like sensitive to heat. But anyway, uh, we're just here for one night. So I've ordered Vyazi Karai and Mahamre. One thing to keep in mind is that Mondays are a day of rest in Mombasa. So you'll find that many street food places don't serve food or so I was told. And a city where Mondays is free. Wow, that's so cool. Our van is here. This is our driver as well, Mr. Simba and he's the one who's going to be showing us around today. Hi Mr. Simba. Yep. And if you didn't know, Simba actually means lion in English. <laughs> <laughs> so believe up to the Mombasa itself is a very small area. It's only five and a half square miles. Right. Which actually is a mix of actually Indians, Arabs and European and Africans. But the majority are Africans. Do you wanna follow? I can understand why we can We've been brought to this wood carving place called Akamba Handicrafts and over here they carve amazing wooden structures. We've been brought here to be shown how they actually carve. This bangle right here has been carved right out of wood. This is actually made of neem, neem tree. Wow. He's actually sanding them right there. Okay, so this elephant here is actually a magnet and it's been carved out of ebony wood, which is one of the hardest wood. Yeah, one of the And then the coolest thing about it is like at the front it's black and at the back it's brown because ebony is like two different shades of wood. And it's so detailed, just wow. So this pile of logs here is the starting point. It's so fascinating to know how they start from a piece of wood like this and then there's no design put into it and they just carve it straight into something amazing like that just that's so mind-blowing this is one piece of wood <laughs> one piece of wood <laughs> like look at that detail though it's elephants holding up a bowl oh my gosh Respect. Respect, Kabisa. <laughs> Guys, my mind has been blown. Look at this. This seat here is still one piece of wood and there was no joints. It was all just carved out of one piece of wood. And then you can open it and it turns into a seat. Simba. <laughs> they made a carving of you. <laughs> <laughs> the people here that make carvings are mainly the Akambas. They're a Kenyan tribe that are masters at carving wood. So back there are all a bunch of different workshops of different people carving different things which then eventually they'll bring to this showroom here where they'll be given a number and then they'll sell their individual items all in this one huge area. So it's basically you come to one place to buy everything and that makes it easier for them to actually sell. to buy too many souvenirs but I had to pick this for my mom. I got I got one of these for a thousand shillings. Yeah she'll be really happy. Next up we made our way to Mamangina Drive where we caught a glimpse of the lighthouse and got some madafu and cassava crisps. So right here along the Mamangina Drive, I used to come here when I was a kid and we used to buy mogul crisps and madafu and it was always the best so that's what we've done. Got some mogul crisps for like 100 shillings and madafu for 50 bucks. It's the size of my head. <laughs> that's a big one. <laughs> well if you're ever in Mombasa, make sure to come here. You will not be disappointed. So we have made it to a place called Fort Jesus here in Mombasa and it's one of the oldest buildings here. The entrance to get in was 200 per person for citizens and 1200 per person for non-citizens. Mm -hmm. 
all right so a little bit of a brief history about Fort Jesus now Fort Jesus was built by the Portuguese to protect the port of Mombasa and then the locals didn't like the Portuguese rule so they went to the Omanis to ask them for help to come and take over this place the Omanis took over the place and started spreading Arabic culture around the area and then the British came in then they took over the place turned it into a prison after they turned it into a prison they would basically get prisoners from all over the country bring them here but then when Kenya finally got independence this was turned into a UNESCO heritage site something like that don't stick me to this history it's like the basicest history ever but that's what I understood and that's basically what Fort Jesus is all about well they have a random skeleton of a whale but whoa that thing is huge that, like I've taken like five steps whoa that is a huge head. Cannonball! So it's gotten really hot and I've come to this place called Damascus which apparently served the best shawarmas here in Mombasa. This is what a shawarma is. It's basically like chicken tikka and salad wrapped around in pita bread. And it just tastes like heaven. Literally just gulp down the whole thing and then I have some sugarcane juice. If you want to try out the best ice cream ever, this place here is the one to come to. It's called Temptations. Sometimes you can order a very uh, fancy flavor like Snickers and then you can, you can end up just feeling so overwhelmed with the flavor. But this one, you can just keep on eating it and eating it and eating it and... Uh, Before we end the day, Brian and I have come to Old Town Mombasa to a place called Forodani and uh, he told me that this place serves the best mutton biryani. So we're here to try it. See front to consideration. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, that's more like it, dude. <laughs> awesome, man. Yeah, okay, you can see that. The, <laughs> down there. That's yeah, the look at those. Marina. The, the light right there. Uh -huh. English Point Marina. Wow. Yeah. And then Fortuna is our neighbor. Right over there. Yeah. Cool. Good, good, good choice, bro. Good choice. Yeah, now we like Guys, it. look at the that's size that. of the moon right yeah. now. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that. How much was this? Uh, 300, 350 or something. 350 shillings for that. But as usual, guys, it all comes down to the taste test. So, let's see what it's like. Oh, that's actually really... I'd say it's better than that place we tried in Malindi. It's very good. Dude, thanks for bringing me here, man. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> then a quick note, so Hamdi's been having this thing called Ukwaju for like the longest time and I wasn't taking it. So it's basically tamarind juice. Brian told me to try it as well. It tastes so freaking good. Heavenness. I, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's just so freaking good. Well guys, so I'm back at the apartment and we went to Old Town of Mombasa but there really wasn't much to talk about uh, on the vlog so I just shot some b-roll. But one thing I have to say however is I like how Old Town is this one small batch of buildings that are all yellow in this whole city where the other buildings are blue and white. That, that really uh, caught my attention. But anyway guys, so today is well our first and last night here in Mombasa. Tomorrow we're going to be heading off to a place called Diani and we're going to be staying at a hotel called Diani Reef uh, so stay tuned for that and uh, thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video hit that like button if you're new here consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one peace fan of the day